Now you might be wondering why I am presenting the Hero Zoom 110 to you like this for the first time. Well, because it gets cornering lights, a first for a 110cc scooter around the world. Now you might find this tech on some big liter class bikes or even ADVs, but on a scooter, this is quite an interesting and unique feature. But that's just the tip of the iceberg of the interesting features that are available on this 110cc sporty scooter. So here's going deeper into the Zoom 110. Now this face looks quite familiar, right? I mean, in terms of sporty scooters, you do know that a certain 125cc scooter does look kind of similar to this. The differences here is obviously this new LED headlight, which gets this hero signature H-shaped design. As I said before, cornering lights. But as you move towards the side of the scooter, you get these lovely sharp panels, as well as a nice integrated chunky grab rail. Now the same H-shaped treatment continues here for the tail light, which is LED, but only halogen bulbs. Now in terms of features, again, this gets this brand new all digital LCD screen, which is Bluetooth compatible. So it'll tell you whether you're getting a call, SMS and whatnot, so via the telltale signs over there. And since this is the top spec version, it gets a blue backlit. The mid spec version gets an amber backlit. In addition, you get these two cubby holes as standard, as well as a USB charging socket over here, plus luggage hooks. Now, in terms of convenience, it doesn't get a remote seat unlock. You will have to get off the scooter and open it from here in order to access this boot, which is decently spacious and also no external fuel filler cap. So you will have to get off the scooter to access the fuel tank. Seems a bit old school, right? Now, powering the Zoom 110 is the same 110cc single cylinder air cooled engine that you find on the Maestro and maybe even the Pleasure. Over here, it makes 8.15 PS and 8.7 Nm. This makes it the most powerful engine in the 110cc segment, but torque figures are on par. Having said that, this particular variant, which is the top variant, weighs 109 kilos, which is around two kilos more than the Jupiter and around three kilos more than the Activa 6G. How will it affect its performance? Well, Hero claimed that this is the quickest scooter in its segment in the run from zero to 60 kmph. But we verify that once we get the scooter for a thorough road test. What I will leave you with is its sporty exhaust note. Now the Zoom 110 gets the same underbone chassis that you find on the Maestro 110 or even the Pleasure, but they made certain tweaks to it to accommodate the different components like the 12 inch wheels at both ends, plus the, this telescopic fork, its tuning is changed to suit this scooter. The wheelbase is slightly longer and as well as to accommodate the larger 12 inch wheel with a chunkier 180 section 12 inch tire, they've had to make modifications to the Monoshock. It gets a front disc brake as standard on the top trim. The mid-spec trim gets disc, uh, drum brakes at both ends and the base version, well, that doesn't get alloys. It gets steel wheels. Now, Hero has launched this scooter in three trims, as I've been telling you all throughout the video. The base version starts at 68, 600, and at the top end goes up to 76, 700. All the prices are ex showroom Delhi, and these are introductory prices. Bookings start from 1st February onwards, and you can book the scooter on Hero's website or by visiting your Hero dealership. We will be riding this scooter very soon and getting a short ride of how the new features exactly work. So stick around to Zigwheels for when that video drops. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to Zigwheels and follow us on our Instagram page as well. Until next time, thank you for watching.